does this experience do to you personally as a goalkeeper? Um, it's a very big, crazy experience. I don't think I can process it myself right now. I might maybe need some some minutes need to talk with some people after everything that happened. Um, yeah, the reactions everywhere around uh, social media just. It's just unreal a little bit, you know. Uh, I came here um, after the COVID. I didn't even know if I'd get the chance to play. Um, got the chance, uh, thanks to the coach. Uh, tried to perform. Performed pretty well. And now, um, yeah, I don't know. I hope uh, I'll get there. Uh, You're growing slowly from Amina being fed. You didn't get enough games. Mm. Now, at Koblenz, 38 games so far. Yes. How much do you think you'll continue to grow from this tournament? I hope a lot, but as I said, it's a lot about, uh, it's a lot about patience. Um, at Koblenz, I get uh, the playtime that I was looking for uh, in the last three, four years. And uh, I'm very happy that I got that opportunity there. Uh, very happy that I got this opportunity as well on the big stage to perform, to try to prove what I can do. And yeah, it's just very, it's just really a blessing. It's just you were a blessing. Born, you were born and raised in Germany. Mm -hmm. Are you going to call all that ja uh, Gambians born in Germany to come and play for Gambia so that you can have a stronger team for the next half? <laughs> I'll try, I'll try. I'm in contact with, uh, with, with some of them already. Um, yeah, I hope. but. Uh, I think we have an amazing team right now. Um, this team deserves a lot of credit. Um, we all wrote history together, so I think it's going to be very hard uh, for the coach to pick uh, the next the next players for the next camp. And uh, I think uh, we, we put Gambia on the map of football and we hope to continue that.